how come yeah. I want uh, full it's like picture. Uh, yeah. Got top live now. Hello. Yeah. Hello everyone. Okay, go on now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Thank you very much, T, for helping again uh, to help me to do this production of the show. And certainly, mm. T is part of my partner with Image Pro, uh, Image Pro Online Learning. Yeah, now, okay. uh, very good afternoon to everybody. Today is still China's New Year. You just mm -hmm. saw the poster that I put in today, Hai Cho Sok. Uh. So Cho Sok, did you see the, what the poster says? It really resembles what I want to say today. So when I received this poster, I thought, gee, this is something that I'd like to show you. So it is um, Cho Sok Kamen. Meaning, today is all about your confidence and 10 out of 10. So it's perfect, right? Today is the 10 day, another 5 days. The Chinese Lunar New Year, it's just over and it also means that life begins now. Talking about when life begins, um, suddenly I thought, hey, I'd like to do a series of four sessions from this Sunday. You will see me in the next three other series. This is something pretty different uh, as I'm doing it solo myself. I'm not having any guests at the moment. I mean, Chinese New Year, maybe some of them are pretty busy. But if you want to hear from any of you know, people that you want to learn, just let me know. Huh? We are all together. Do I see anybody coming in already? Right. So, yeah. I think that is okay. If you can't see me today, I do hope you look at the rerun. Huh? So, what is my topic today? My topic today is, well, confidence, break, or make you yes or we say will confidence make or break you we try to put the more positive words that comes through first and why do i want to have this particular topic now recently i had a zoom training with a group of 30 young people they are really young when i say young they are in the they are in the region of the age between 18 18 to about 29 so they are pretty young right and when I ask them, can you tell me what's your goal for 2021? And most of them come to me and said, I want to be more confident. Some will say, I want to build my own personal branding. Huh? Some will say, um, I want to be famous or whatever. So I catch there were a few words. Number one, confidence. Number two, personal branding, even though I don't talk about personal branding. Uh, for me, I, I do something different. And uh, someone would also, uh, this particular word that says, love myself first. So my next week is going to be this particular topic. But today, we talk about confidence first. So today, I hope and my aim is to, I hope to accomplish at least five advices that you can take home to understand the difference between confidence, self-esteem, and how you prep yourself in order to use confidence to make you but not break you, right? So before I really get into my preparation for this 30 minutes talk, I started text a few people and I asked them, these are all friends and associates come from different countries 
and they are men and women. Huh? So, okay. So these are the answers that I gathered from them. Huh? I asked them, I asked them, can you tell me what confidence means to you? I just opened up a question like that. And these are the answers that I gathered from them. Huh? Confidence is feeling comfortable that you love and doing it better over time. Do you agree with me? If you agree with me, of course, you know, you put a one there. Hmm? And then someone said, it is the assurance of knowing exactly what or how to do it. Does that resemble, does that, uh, does that ring a bell to you? Right, it's exactly. So it is the assurance, you know what you can do. This is a stranger. When I was working as a manager, we always talk to the staff and the staff say, I know what to do, I know what to do. My next question to them is, yes, you know what to do, but tell me, are you doing what you know? So that's a different thing altogether. You know what you are doing. You know what to do, but you might not know, uh, but you might not be doing what you know. So you know what to do, but you are not doing what you know. So that's a different story altogether. Now, in this case, it's the assurance of knowing exactly what or how to do. This uh, brought me one, um, one place I remember. I'm not sure whether the place is still there right now. Um, well, do I see anybody coming in? Huh? All right. Uh, let's talk about... Uh, all right. So anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yes. It reminds me of this place in Kuala Lumpur, but I'm not sure whether it's still there. It's called Dining in the Dark. There was one day I was talking to two friends, uh, Elaine and uh, Christine. We say, hey, maybe we should go there, but it's pretty expensive. Huh? Dining in the Dark, it's actually going into a restaurant. Apparently, you are served by people who are blind, but they are already very good at what they're doing, and you are in a total room that is total darkness. You cannot even see what you are eating. But of course, you know what you have ordered, right? So you will be using your, um, you know, your utensils, drinking, everything is by feeling. And when you feel what is around you, when you eat what you know you're going to eat, it actually means trust, right? So dining in the dark where you cannot see anything it's all about trust because this is what you're going to put the food inside. So I felt that that is quite a good experience if you have some place in your own country or, you know, in Malaysia, you might want to try it. Hi, Lim. Yes, Lim is from Malaysia. <laughs> I'm going to speak to him later too. Uh, uh, a guy who is very diligent, uh, I must say. So, okay. So I was talking about dining in the dark, right? Perhaps you might want to try. Um, and then um, another person tells me confidence means comes from inner how. And uh, how certain one presents it out, a.k.a. know yourself first. I wonder whether this comes from Zilim actually, which is yes. Certainly, uh, I totally agree it comes from inside first, but there is a little difference between what comes from inside and what you show outside. Yeah? We'll talk about that later. Um, and someone say, feeling at ease and assured. This is surely because you are who you are. Whatever you want to do, first of all, you have to understand, am I at ease doing it or not, right? If you are not happy um, doing something for somebody else, I would say, why do you do it? Because you, you shouldn't be a victim of anything because you hold your own decision at the end of the day. Uh, remember that. Um, of course, one person tell me very short, believe in yourself. Bingo. This is correct too. Now, but believe in yourself is pretty deep inside. Now. So actually that's your self-esteem. Doing whatever with current experiences 
and making mistakes along the way. This is from Roland Becker. Now, Roland Becker is a, a friend of mine who, he's a German, but was working in China for a couple of years. But now, with second home, he came to Malaysia. Why you chose Malaysia? Maybe it must be really nice for you, right? Yeah, we can. There are pretty good uh, things in Malaysia. So Roland Becker said this, right? And he also um, added on to say, to be a master, you have to fail many times. Uh, to be a master, you have to fail more times than the beginner has ever tried. And I, I really love, love what he said because this is truly what I believe myself. Huh? Um, this is really by Roland Becker. Really, you, you, you have to try, you have to hurt yourself, you have to fall, you have to fail. Otherwise, you cannot have success. And success equates, a lot of people say success equates to confidence. Huh? Yes and no, it depends how you work on it. Um, and someone also told me this, when you know and believe in your own abilities, stand steadfast in self-assurance and is not swayed by what others think or say about you. And this is really my favorite, favorite. And this came from uh, Ong Chin Huat. We call him Ching, our Malaysian top top stylist. Huh? Now, it's not just Ching. It also comes from Priscilla, my associate image guru from Hong Kong. Huh? Priscilla also said this, and this is really something I felt all of us must really hold this very, very hard at heart because whatever you do, it should not be swayed because of what people say or emotions that you set in, especially emotions, because I do fall as a victim of uh, at times, because while you can be confident, some people can have low esteem. Some people have high esteem, but they do not have confidence. So at the end of the day, if you want to equate success in life, your self-esteem and your confidence rightfully, they should be aligned. When anything that is aligned, you know things can be very smooth. Or you can say, if things are synergized, right? In this case, your inner self and your outer self, if you can synergize together, then success comes to you. Uh, could you please let me, where you watch the FB live, which country? Oh, okay. This is from T, I suppose. Yeah, so this is what I gathered from some of my friends and I do hope this is like in a nutshell uh, what you think about confidence. Now, most people will think about confidence as, oh, when a person walk very well, when a person dress very well, when a person, you know, um, uh, speak very well, they are very confident. Yes and no. The yes, it's, it is only on the outside part, yeah, which is a very important, uh, it's very essential. Look, if you are an employee, look, the person who dress better, the person who speaks better, the person who market himself better gets to be the person to be brought out for lunch by the boss. And if there is a promotion, this person will be surely be the next online. Now, these days, we don't even talk about promotion. Huh? It could be, how can I work myself in order to be retained by my company at this time of the pandemic? Or perhaps you might be someone who says, I'm going to be uh, my own boss. I'm going to do a startup next. So how can I be confident, right? So yes, confident is how you speak, how you walk, how you dress. But truly, yes, it is from the outside, but surely there are more in that inside. Imagine you look so pretty, Gucci all over, you know, especially, you know, some guys, the minute they try to wear the belt with a big H, you know what I mean? With a big H belt, they are deemed to be very successful. Yes or no? That I would say 
a little bit more to know about your character because your character is really built from who you are internally. Huh? So um, a confident person usually will rise to challenges. A confident person will seize opportunities. This is definitely true. People who are confident always seize the opportunity very fast and Often they can deal with difficulties. I say often, nah, not necessary, because a person can be very confident, but a person can have very low self-esteem, as I say, right? But to me, personally, to me, huh? if you say, some people say, Joe, I can see that you're very confident. Yes and no again sometimes. I felt sometimes, yes, we can be very confident, but there are times of the day or there are situations that, really push you to rock bottom sometimes. And if emotions drives in, then your self-esteem may not be as high, although the confidence is still there. I still talk, you know, speak well, and, um, and I look at people in the eyes, and, well, this is what exactly when we teach in image classes, look at a person in the eyes, that is sure fire to get confidence first, right? But when people know you longer, they will know who you are as a person. Do you have the value in you or not? So to me, uh, what is confidence? Yeah, Confidence, definitely confidence has to have preparation. You see, like I have my papers prepared. It doesn't mean I'm not confident, but when I put these things in, it means that I have prepared myself. And coming from... <clears throat> A guru status, okay, take me as your GPS. Uh, you know what's GPS, right? Every one of us uses GPS in the car when we need to go to a place, right? You will hear some, some voices. My GPS is always a man's voice. Lah. I'll tell you where to go. So because you are going into a foreign terrain, you are not sure, you are not the expertise. So you need a GPS. So I'm a GPS in... <clears throat> image okay yeah so in this case gps means guru position status huh that's it <laughs> all right so confidence means preparation so as a guru i often ensure all my work is being prepared because if my work is prepared now all trainers tell you the same thing when you prepare something when we go for a training we probably have prepared 200 percent but we only deliver 100 percent and then when we walk downstairs, we say, oh, I, I should have said this, or oh, I should have said that, but it's good enough because you have prepared 200%. When I work, I always tell my subordinates or I always tell my peers, always work more than is, uh, more, more than is asked for. So, you know, you are so much prepared. And if anything, any failure, you know very well you don't fall that uh, hard, uh, you don't fall that tough. So confidence to me is really preparation. It's plan. Do you have your goals? And certainly I felt failure is a very good experience to make a person more confident because each time when you fail, you know, but of course you don't fail all the time with the same reason of failing. So if you fail with the same reason and the same a uh, 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 falling, what you call that? Um, okay, the reason lah, huh? then that's bad, right? So learn from failures. You've got to fall hard, and I always believe injuries are never permanent. So if you can um, heal your injuries, that's the road to success, and that's will make you more and more confident. Huh? Now, confident are people who usually say, yes, I can. You know, I have this friend. Uh, I also worked with her before. And each time I say, hey, uh, can, um, let's say give her a name, Jed, uh, 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 Jereen, let's say, right? So I say, hey, Jereen, can you do this? Yes, I can. It's always, yes, I can. So when the person tell you, yes, I can, yes, I can do it, it gives you a lot of trust that this person can do it. And usually people who are very confident, die, die, they will do it for you because they cannot lose face, right? But they can be very tiresome. They may also make the effort of other people um, lose out something for their advantage because they need to work for you, right? And because they say yes to you already. Yes, 
However, overconfident is not a very good thing. Overconfident, it will break you. We'll talk about that later on, yeah? Um, yes, uh, the reason when you're overconfident is either people who are very stubborn, I do not want to let go because the face is there, or they can become arrogant. So when you are arrogant, let me tell you, you lose out a lot, a lot of things. Uh, you lose out. Having confidence is good, but too much, you might lack the mindfulness. Mindfulness, like I said, you know, you make other people suffer because you need to get what you want. Uh? So that's a little bit dangerous in that sense, yeah? So now, but confidence, what is the difference between confidence and self-esteem? Now, confidence is very much like I say, yes, I can. So confidence is something that people can see. Confidence is something that you want to show others. Uh, this is what you have. Example, I may be carrying a big double C logo. I may be carrying, um, you know, an LV bag around with a monogram or whatever. Let me tell you, this was really what I, I learned. One day I was with a client and we went into LV. Uh, well, I must say, I shouldn't be using that word, right? <laughs> so anyway... Uh, I got to learn from the sales consultants that, oh, this is this is what she tell me. Oh, this is the entry point. This is the en uh, entry point to an LV logo. So I thought, why is she saying that, right? But it does because uh, some people, I say some, uh, not all, don't get me wrong. Some people really believe in quality goods, but some people, no matter how, they will buy very expensive clothes. They buy very expensive bags and shoes and belts in order to. They need to show. They need to show it because by having that, perhaps it's a sign of um, confidence. It's a sign that you are being rich and wealthy. By the way, wealthy comes in many forms, right? Wealthy could be yes, you are rich. Wealthy can be. Um, you are very happy. Wealthy can be, you already have three generations down the line. Wealthy could be you have assets or wealthy could be something that you don't have to worry what is going to be happening next day because you already have achieved your own goals in your own criteria. You don't have to please people to make people say, wow, you're very confident or you're very good. So you are who you are. Huh? So confident is a belief, right? Confident is a belief that you can do something, you want something, you can do something. But self-esteem uh, is something, is a belief in yourself. You see, confident is belief, something outside, I, I can do this. I show you what I can do, right? Everything is I can Okay, and you go ahead to do uh, what you can because people feel that you're confident doing what a project or doing something that you need to do. But people who are self-esteem could. These are the people who are very rich within themselves. It's the well worth. You know you are good at your own niche, right? Some people are very good at certain things. Uh, they can be doing their bad uh, uh, they call that back office work. Some people are very good at accounts. Example, you know, I'm never good at figures. Don't ask me to look at figures. But I have a very creative mind. You want to think about something that is different, something that is uh, uh, um, creative, something that's unique. I am the person that you could work with. And I like to talk with people. So the interrelationship, the minute you look at people, your eyes fix, you know, I can talk to anyone. So it's because you have opened up your heart and mind that nobody is a bad person. Yeah. So do you realize some people, even when you go into a lift, right, they just keep quiet or they start to observe you first. People doesn't want to step forward, right? And these are the people who always say, you first, you first. Why? because they have very low self-esteem. They felt that they are not good enough. They felt that they are all full, especially uh, some might even come up to say, oh, body image, because now I do have quite a number of clients who all often 
suffer from, so to speak, um, uh, lacking of self-esteem in their body image. But I always tell them, you know, if you are someone who is born with a bigger um, uh, bone structure, for instance, right, you are not going to, how are you going to narrow your bone structure? You cannot. You can only embrace what you have and love what you have. And don't you think by you can uh, can see, can smell, you can talk, you can feel your five senses are with you, you are already very blessed. So you just need to maybe, you know, do some camouflage techniques and just enhance your grooming. And don't forget, you can also enhance your own uh, self-worth, you know, by upscaling yourself, taking up a new skill, knowledge. Now, knowledge doesn't mean from books. Huh? Knowledge can also mean mirror somebody. This is something pretty important. Now, when we teach people or when we guide people or when we coach people, you know, um, this is what I felt. No matter how much you tell them, you teach them, yes, uh, okay, okay, they understand. And some are very smart. They even tell you, oh, this, this is what I'm going to do or whatever. But then after a span of time, they forgot because they don't practice. It could be lack of self-esteem. You know, Josephine is not behind me to tell me, hey, five o'clock, you're going to wake up and do cycling, you know, something like that. Yeah, you always see people, oh, you've got a very fit body, but do you know that they actually five o'clock wake up and start cycling all the time? So anyway, um, feel your own self-esteem. Your own self-esteem is I am, right? Your confidence is I can. Now, sometimes people have overconfidence. It's because they end in courage. Like when you are asked to go to the bungee jump, you know what I mean or not? I can. So the confidence is there. But when you go there, die, die, they have to do. So they just put in the courage. So at times, there are people who are overconfident. They just do it because the courage is there. And courage can be quite risky because courage is something that you can't see. That is why I come back to the thing is you can be very confident if you are well prepared. You have to have the confidence by knowing what is unknown out there. That means, let's say if you are in a, uh, in a different country, let's say you are given a new job, you have new colleagues, you have new company rules and regulation, right? Um, then your confidence comes in if you already have self-prepared yourself, know a lot about the company. If you, your self-esteem, if you are someone with very high esteem, you are not afraid people take you as a newbie because you are well worth. When people who are well worth, they normally don't make people difficult because they are self-sufficient. So when they are self-sufficient, hello, Jesse, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Huh? So people with um, a good self-esteem, they embrace everybody. They love themselves. I am what? I am worth and I want to share my worthiness with you. I'm here to work with everyone. And people who are who have high self-esteem, they don't pick, they, what do you call that? Uh, they don't pick people's um, uh, shortcomings, right? Because like I said, they have failed before. They don't pick people's shortcomings. In fact, they also support them. People with high esteem can what I call noble men. You know what's a noble man? It's someone that you can look at, mirror yourself because they have positive vibes, uh, you know, they have all the positivities and they are someone whom you want to be like them. So people with high esteem usually are confident lah, most of the time. Huh? And um, noble men are people where, like I say, if they are good, you mirror them. Okay, they, they are the ones that will give you a better self in future. Right, so um, yes, if you have some questions, you can either put the questions here uh, I may be, I will try to help to answer as much as possible as I promise everybody uh, 
30, 30 minutes, right? So it's exactly 30 minutes. But of course, uh, knowing uh, a good self-esteem, like I said, some people, uh, come back to the self-esteem, right? Some people are really wealthy, but they don't show because the way they speak, they know what they speak. They don't need to dress very expensive to impress you, but they have to respect you. So people who respect others, they are the ones who certainly have very high esteem. They don't make people in difficult situations and they usually don't talk as much as uh, every opportunity that arises. Huh? They usually stay behind first and when they talk, they really provide uh, the full, what would I say? They really provide full uh, solutions to an issue. And usually these are the people who talk last, right? But self-esteem means grow something inside from you in terms of um, knowledge, wisdom. It can be failures. It can be a lot of knowledge within you. It can be experiences that you have helped others. So when people speak all about you, A-W-E, huh? it is somewhat, somewhat you know, more and more experience that comes, uh, more and more uh, confidence that comes to you. So self-esteem uh, self people are usually with a high confidence sometimes, yeah? And sometimes it's vice versa. However, if your confidence and your self-esteem can be very much aligned, then you know you are on the way to success. So last but not least, I promise uh, these are my five basic advices to align your self-esteem and confidence for a successful, positive self. Okay, so the first one, I said, be humble. Yes, be humble, right? Because when you are humble, anybody wants to be with you. Don't forget. Huh? Uh, if you are over arrogant because you are over confidence, you are arrogant, a lot of people may, may not want even to teach you. People may not even want to share the benefits with you. Yeah. So be humble and uh, be consistent. This humbleness, this kindness, you have to be consistent. So it doesn't mean someone up there, you want to be very humble, but your subordinates, you push them, all right? Or you belittle them. No. You have to be very consistent whoever, whenever, however, right? So be consistent, so be humble and kind to people. As you must know yourself, you are very rich internally because you have all the goodness in you, right? And always remember, nobody is perfect. Even there are so many goodness in you, there could be something not as good because nobody is born perfect. Remember that. Huh? Number two, um. Okay, um, this is a little bit too much. Dress decently because you need to respect others. In terms of behavior, you have to respect. The big respect is there because when you respect others, people will respect you back because what goes around comes around all the time. Huh? One of the tips I said, uh, I just mentioned, you don't have to have labels in order to push up your self-esteem. You don't need labels to say, oh, I'm very confident because I'm rich, right? So, you know, for us in image, we, we always say if you have scarf, you have anything, this is what we normally do. We actually remove the label of the scarf. And when you're carrying, you know, some bags that has this leather thing, uh, I usually advise my clients to take it away because you don't need to show uh, the, 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 the high level of goods that you are carrying. Huh? So um, yes, so you have to respect everybody, respect yourself, dress decently, behave well, of course speak with conviction. That is the first part of the confidence, right? Upgrade yourself because self-esteem. Self-esteem is you have to know I am, I believe I'm good myself. What are the things? All of us, like I say, we are not as perfect. Huh? But each and every day, 
you start learning, it can be anything. It can be, uh, it can be tangible or non-tangible products. So it depends uh, on your uh, on what you need to improve yourself. Yeah. Um, Yes, uh, cultivate your self-worth. I think self-worth is so important because if you're happy, people around you are happy. If you're positive, people around you are positive. If you give knowledge, if you are someone who not selfish, if you're someone who give, remember, give without forgetting and take uh, 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 without remembering. Huh? So always better to give than to take because when somebody who can give, it means you are rich inside. Rich may not be money. Rich may be many other things. Yes, you could be rich in knowledge. You can be rich in self-assurance. You can be rich in giving joy to people. You can be rich by giving food to others you can be rich by lending a hand huh? so that is so important right and of course lastly um the powerful mirror effect look around yourself who is your idol when i say idol not icon huh? icon can be a supermodel icon can be a celebrity they look very good outside they are very confident outside but they're not going to show you the worst part of themselves, right? It's only a good friend. It's only someone that you know well enough. They will show you the worst part of them. And the worst part of them is just part of our life. It's just part of our journey. Remember, if you are someone who is confident that you can be a better person, start working on your internal self-esteem first. If you are rich, nothing can pull you down. If you are rich, you fall, you can still stand up. If you are rich, if people tell you some other things, there could be one person who tell you something bad, but look at the 10 person who speaks good about you. So are you preparing to have uh, up? Are you, are you prepared? Are you prepared from today to start improving your own self-image and when you have the self-image self-esteem your confidence comes in and always remember do not be arrogant be humble when you're too arrogant you don't know what you lose you might feel that yes i have what i have i am who i am because this is my goals this is what uh my my limit if you cannot come into my circle, then I'm sorry, I can't take you. You know, uh, some people who ghost, uh, who have learned this, I mean, it depends. Huh? Um, there is this course called the eighth, what is it called? Uh, the eighth habit. It's no negotiation, win only. No negotiation. That means if you cannot do anything, okay, lose, lose both sides because I to them is I win because I have no negotiation but deep down you might lose a boyfriend you might lose an opportunity you might lose someone dear get it <laughs> all right so much so now uh, of course we are talking about uh, building your self-image improving your confidence there's so much more so much deep that we can talk about now let me tell you something if you feel that um bringing up your confidence is something that you want to learn if you if you are someone who felt that uh i want to align how can i align my self-esteem now i'm not a fortune teller right i cannot forecast your destiny but i can only tell you i can only coach you through my experience about self-esteem and how you can align confidence together and make people uh, work with you more, make people like you more, but you don't please people. Huh? You have to be your, your, your true self. And people buy you because today someone said, I'm lacking of confidence because I don't know my products. 
I said, no, people don't buy your products. People buy who you are. Do I like you or not? But you don't need to be a, a people pleaser to show that you're confident. But can you put both together, your self-esteem and your confidence so that you are a better self, right? So I'm doing a two-hour Zoom coaching and this is going to be very personal. So only if you are interested, you either write to our uh, the link. Uh, he is going to give you a link or personally, you can DM me under Pro on uh, under Pro Image Online Learning. I'm going to have a two-hour Zoom uh, next Saturday. So I'm going to do that. Uh, the title is called How Do You Realign Your Self-Esteem and Your Confidence Together, right? Now, I am not going to talk and talk and talk and you just listen because I am certainly not a very online person where, you know, you can do your cooking and just listen to me. You know, I am going to be your facilitator, meaning you have to work with me. I will give you a pre-assignment. And uh, apart from uh, uh, bringing you the crucial elements of what I intend to tell you, I want to do this as a brainstorming. So for you, I need you to give me what are your issues. So no names um, a, a bring up. So we're going to do it like a you ask, I answer kind of thing. It's going to be a brainstorming, very private group. All right. You can bring us your darkest fear. Uh, okay. Again, I'm not a psychiatrist. I am, you know, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going, we are going to do a brainstorming based on my 30 over years working in the corporate and personally how I fall and how I'm still learning today to be more confident and I believe I have the values enough for you, surely, right? So come to us if you are interested in next two hours of uh, Zoom. It's going to be a private group. And for those who say, no, I don't want a group coaching, I want a personal coaching. Now, here is it. It's been a long time I've not opened up my one-to-one -one consultation. This, I'm going to do it a little bit different. Uh, you, I can, if, I prefer to be a face-to-face -face coaching because that is something that um, ultimately I really need to drill. What is really in you that you need to change? So it's your character building. It's your personality, uh, creating your personality and creating your character so that again, your character and personality have to be synergized. So you emerge yourself, you transform yourself as a better person in what you're going to do, right? Again, it's because sometimes you are not the expert to know what went wrong, but you need a coach to be looking at you from a top. Remember, I'm your GPS, huh? So hire me as a GPS. It's been a long time. But I'm going to do this as a six months coaching, meaning uh, every other month, I will follow up with you until you are at that level that I feel good about it. Huh? So that is a six months one-to-one -one coaching. So if you are a Kuala Lumpur girl or a Kuala Lumpur guy, I will want to do a one-on-one. -on -one. And if you are someone, still the self-esteem is not there yet. I don't want to show you my face. I don't want to show you my wardrobe. Then we can meet at the cyber world. I will do digital coaching with you. But let me tell you, the digital coaching, uh, it is still not as perfect as face-to-face -face coaching, surely. But we can fine-tune whatever it is. So remember, if you want to have a group coaching, meet me next uh, Saturday, two-hour uh, coaching called Align Alignment of Your Self-Esteem and Your Confidence so that you're going to step out confidently and with power pack value of yourself. How? Then you have to find a reason uh, for doing that, certainly. Plus, it's going to be a brainstorming altogether or a one-to-one -one consultation, coaching, where I will stretch it to six months, whichever. Uh, I will have my uh, Google form, a Google registration form later. But while I do the Google form, because today was actually yesterday, only I start 
thinking about uh, you know doing this live. So I'll see you in the next um, next week. Oh, by the way, next week, yes. Uh, don't let this end. Next week, uh, be with me next week again. Uh, next week, my title is going to be "Love Yourself First. This is again a very common uh, question, uh, not question, a common word I hear people say, love yourself first. Now, love yourself first is very important and it is another sure fire to success. But I want you to use it genuinely and not take that as an advantage to be selfish, okay? So hear me out next week. I will see you again. So people, again, 今天是初十,不要忘記,新年,我就祝各位新年幸好運 sometimes I can forget 是的,一切順利 一切有信心,十全十美。好了, I see you next week. Love yourself first. Thank you for being with me today.